So in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the iCourse of Vores version 3.0 and in particular, why you need to buy this tool if you own a VW, Audi, Seat, Skoda or Bentley vehicle. It's really a video about everything that you need to know about this kit or 21 questions and answers before you go ahead and buy it. If you are looking to pick up this tool, though, I will say one thing that there are fakes, there are clones on the market and unfortunately they can damage your vehicle. So if you want to make sure you're getting the genuine and official tool, make sure you use the link in the description below this video. I'll also pop a link in the comments section as well. These are the box contents. So you'll receive the main unit as shown here. This is the user manual. This is a soft case carry pouch. This is the protective box that the tool comes in. This is a USB cable and this is the OBD2 cable. One end of this cable connects to the tool. The other end of this cable connects to the OBD2 port of the vehicle. So what exactly is the Vores version 3.0? Well, it's a multi-system scan tool package that will allow you to diagnose all systems within the vehicle and also carry out a lot of service functions as well. So it basically puts the power in the user's hands. Instead of having to take your vehicle to the garage or the workshop when you've got a busy life, you've got a busy work, uh, or social or family sort of situation going on. It just allows you to put the power in your own hands and be able to do whatever you need to do to your vehicle when it's convenient and suitable for you. So where to buy this tool? Um, if you click on the link in the description below this video, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Diagnostic World will stock this tool for you and that will ensure that you do get a genuine and official product. How much is the tool right now at the time of making this video? It's £169. So that probably equates to something like maybe, I don't know, $200, somewhere around about that. I'd have to double check. Uh, but t prices can fluctuate. They can go up and down depending on the uh, the markets, the exchange rates and things like that. So, But right now it's £169. So how is it powered? It is powered and it takes its power from the vehicle battery. So once this, the other end of this tool, uh, this connector here is plugged into the diagnostic port, which is like down there on this vehicle, um, it, the, the screen will automatically light up. There is another way to light it up. You can connect a USB cable into like a PC or a laptop. Um, but if you want to, if you want the tool to light up and to get a connection to the vehicle, then you do need to power up via the cable. Okay, so um, what manufacturers are covered? Well, I'll come to that. What I want to do first of all, though, is show you how to remove this beeping noise every time you press a button. It's quite frustrating, quite annoying actually. So I just prefer to toggle through the menus without um, having the beeping going on. Right, so what manufacturers are covered? So we've got Audi, Bugatti, Lamborghini, Seat, Skoda, VW, VW Commercial Vehicles and VW LT3. And what systems are covered within these vehicles? Okay, so let's use this vehicle as an example because we're sitting in it right now. It's an Audi Q3. But for Audi, what I'm gonna do is just click into their menu. Just takes a few seconds to load this up here so you can go vehicle select. And these are the Audi manufacturers. I'll go through the others in a second. So those are the Audi vehicles. Uh, and when we go to Q5, it's a 2016 model. It's found the VIN number. And you can go to control unit. And then this is gonna bring up a list of the systems that I can connect with. So it's got 56 here. So you've got all the main systems like the engine, the transmission, the ABS brake system, uh, seat adjustments, display control unit, air conditioning, electrics. Radio, media, parking sensors, cruise control, airbags, steering column, uh, dashboard, active safety, gateway, all-wheel drive, navigation, lane change, air conditioning, sound system. I'm just going to scroll through the rest here to give you a good idea. Of what it can do. Right, so those are the, uh, it, it changes on vehicle to vehicle, depending on which vehicle that you're actually sitting in. So um, those are the um, the kind of the systems which would be covered. Uh, now what information does it give you when a fault code is found? So if we go back into this Audi Q5, and what I'm gonna do is, as you might have already noticed, we've got an airbag light on the dashboard there. So I'm gonna, show you this tool actually diagnosing that fault. 
and we should try and be able to reset it as well. So I know that 15 is the airbag system on this vehicle. So I think I've just been going through them a bit too quick. I need it needs to I need a second to um, to keep up here. Alright, there we go. Airbag. So we're going to read fault code. That's giving us one fault code. B101A15 is the unique fault code. And the uh, description is seat positive sensor, driver side, which is what I'm in now. Open circuit, short circuit to B+. Plus. Okay. Uh, this was just a fault that we simulated in order to get the airbag light on. Uh, what you can do is, I'll show you this tool now, erasing a fault code. So clear fault memory. When I press F1 here, keep an eye on the airbag light. There we go, it's turned off. And we've got erase operation done. So that is what it what will it look like when a, a, a fault code comes on screen. So we can go back out of this and we can have a look at some of the special functions. I'll come to the VW and the C8 Skoda uh, coverage very soon. But we click into the service menu and these are the, uh, the service options that you'll get. So you get oil service reset, electronic park and brake calibration, new battery registration, electronic throttle control, steering angle sensor calibration, DPF regeneration and reset, injector coding, suspension calibrations for those vehicles with air suspension, headlamp um, calibration or reset as well. So those are the, um, the special functions that are available. Now, when it comes to the other vehicles, I did mention I would go through those, so I've not actually clicked on the Bugatti yet. I'm not sure if it'll give us a vehicle list. It's just gonna go into VIN identity, unfortunately. So, obviously we don't have a, a Bugatti VIN number. It's gonna be the same with Lamborghini. Let's see if we can get some SEAT coverage. Vehicle select. So it's got 21 different options, so these are the see it vehicles that you can diagnose and reset and then we go across to Skoda vehicle select it's got an option of 12 and then we can go across to VW I would think VW will probably have quite a big list. 84 in fact. So I'm going to run through this as quick as I can and just pause the screen if you need to. back to the start okay so those are the uh, the VW coverage vehicles and what about uh, live data does it give live data it does so I'm going to give you a quick example of that so we're just going to quickly select our vehicle here again you can automatically select the vehicle but I always like to choose the vehicle manually so we've got 2016 that's the VIN number and we can go to control unit and I'm going to go to the engine control unit and then we, you can see what we've got here is view data it also does actuation tests as well I'll come to that again in a moment uh, so view data and it allows you to it's got 240 here so there are like so many different sections of live data that you can actually get access to I'm not going to go through them all, I'm just going to show you a snapshot of them. So let's see, for example, exhaust gas. I mean, just as an example here, I'll click on that one. Particulate filter, so it'll give you DPF data 
as well. Time since last generation. Uh, so as I say, oh, kilometers. There's lots of different live data that you can actually get here. Um, and also actuation tests as well. So you can do, well not on the engine, but like, say for example, if you wanted to test that a motor was working or like a, they call it like actuation tests or bi-directional uh, component testing, this tool can do that for different components within the vehicle. Um, is it a touch screen? It's not a touch screen. No, you do need to actually use the toggle buttons on the side. Um, how does it update or how much are the updates? Updates are free for life, which is really good and you update it via the computer or laptop So you need to plug one end of the USB cable which comes included in there The other end into the PC or laptop download the software from the iCarsoft website It'll all link up and then you can uh, update the software and put the latest software version on But remember you do get free updates for life um, and how does this compare to the version 2.0 or the version 1.0? This goes way over and above the version 1.0 and the 2.0. Um, the 1.0 is mainly just for fault code reading and clearing, uh, plus oil service. The version 2 does all of everything that the 1 does, so it'll do uh, code reading and reset, it'll do oil service, but it, it's, it says that it will also do other special functions like DPF regeneration and electronic park and brake, but unfortunately we've found that it just does that on a very, very small range of vehicles. And the version 3.0 just way opens up that list of vehicles that it will cover for the special functions. So I would say there's not a lot of price in between the version 2.0 and the version 3.0. And I would honestly say that going for the version 3.0 will definitely make sure that your vehicle is covered. Um, the version 2.0 is a little bit hit and miss, unfortunately. So definitely go for the version 3.0. You can print faults. You can actually um, save a fault code onto like um, an SD card, which is in the device already. And then you can copy that to a PC or laptop and you can print them off from there. Um, when it comes to languages, it does have multiple languages on here. I believe you can add more via the uh, the software on the PC, but for now it's just got five languages installed to the tool. Uh, we've so we've already saw the box full of instructions. Is it easy to use um, for anybody who is a complete new newbie or a beginner? And I would say absolutely 100%. This tool is. Um, it's so simple to use, so easy, you can't put a foot wrong. It takes you through every step of the way and you are you are required to sort of hit certain buttons at certain times. So there's no risk to the vehicle, no risk to anything else. Um, you can't damage anything and it's very, very simple and easy to use. What about the other icon menus? Well, we've uh, looked at a few. We'll go to voltage. That just gives you uh, minimum and maximum live data from the, uh, the battery voltage on the vehicle. Uh, this allows you to diagnose engine faults in other makes and models as well. So whereas this section here will go into deep diagnosis for VAG vehicles, this will allow you to cover engine faults on any other vehicle. Uh, if you've recorded some data along the way, which you can do, you just simply need to uh, click onto this option. DTC lookup would, will allow you to uh, look up like the meaning of a particular fault code. This will be a is this an injector, injection, cylinder, cylinder one, yep. So, you know, you can have a play around with that. Um, setup of the tool itself just shows you basic information. You can do factory resets, um, choose the unit of measure, etc. Uh, a little bit of help, so it just gives you like basic information on what uh, OBD2 is, etc. And the last one is the software versions and hardware versions that are currently installed to this particular kit. And that will obviously, that's a serial number, that will, these will obviously change as the tool is updated throughout its life. So that's the iCarsoft version 3.0. Um, as I mentioned earlier, please use the links in the description below this video. That will take you to an official and uh, genuine product. Fakes and clones can damage your vehicle and uh, why take the risk. So that's everything for this Vols version 3.0. It's a highly recommended tool if you are interested in getting something like this uh, and having a health check for your VW Audi C8 Skoda. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.